Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. The original PowerShot G7X was something of a hit and miss affair among photographers, but it certainly became popular among vloggers. And now, this second generation update appears to be just as much of a smash. While it maintains a 1 and type sensor from the previous model, you now get a 24p and 60p recording option, better battery life and a touchscreen that's arguably easier to see thanks to the hinge now being placed along the bottom of the camera. The newer Digic 7 processor also speeds up performance overall, and the fact that you can slip this into a roomy pocket makes it a more portable option for recording on the fly, where a DSLR would be impractical. Sony RX100 Mark V While the previous RX100 Mark IV was already equipped for excellent quality 4K video recording, the pocketable Mark V made some important strides for the videographer. Perhaps the most important addition is phase detect half pixels on the sensor, which allow the camera to keep a better lock on the subject while recording. Furthermore, phase detection is also effective here, which further helps the camera to understand what it's focusing on. You also get a slog 2 option and far better rolling shutter performance than the Mark IV, although there's no MIC port, so you'll have to use a MIC and an external recorder, or your phone, if you want to improve on the quality of the camera's microphones. Canon EOS M6 With a flip-up screen and a microphone port, and Canon's excellent dual-pixel CMOS F system on board to keep everything in focus during recording, the EOS M6 is a great choice for those who want to keep both their setup as compact and portable. Video is limited to full HD recording, although you do have a 60p option if you need it, and built-in digital image stabilization also helps when you're recording on the move. The current collection of compatible lenses isn't the widest, but if you pair the camera with the FM 11 to 22 mm f4.5.6 is STM lens, you'll have a useful 18 to 35 mm focal range, in 35 mm equivalent terms, to work with, together with the benefit of Canon's STM technology to keep focusing quiet. If you need 4K, the recent EOS M50 is also one to add to the list. Although this does come with a handful of limitations, such as no dual pixel CMOS F in 4K and a 1.6x crop factor. Panasonic Lumix G85, G80 
with masses of features, a weather-sealed body and crisp image quality thanks to the lack of an optical low-pass filter, the Lumix G85, which also goes by the name Lumix G80, is one of our favorite budget mirrorless cameras even before we get to its video capabilities. And yet, even here it shines, with 4K recording, a mic input, flip-out touchscreen and fast focusing to recommend it even further. The camera is capable of using face detection to keep a lock on subjects as they move, and while it lacks on sensor face detect F, focus changes happen nice and smoothly while you're recording. You also benefit from effective image stabilization from both the sensor and the lens, assuming you're using a lens with OIS, which is great if you're planning on moving while you shoot. Canon EOS Rebel SL2, EOS 200D The EOS Rebel SL2, also known as the EOS 2000D may simply appear as a compact, unassuming, entry-level DSLR, but for vloggers on a budget it makes a lot of sense. On top of the full HD option that records to 60p, you get a flip-out touchscreen LCD with a respectable 24.2 MP resolution, together with sensor-based phase detect half pixels, Canon's dual-pixel CMOS F system, to help keep focus smooth while you record. You can also hook an external microphone to the camera through the 3.5mm port at its side. The default FS18-55mm to mm f 45.6 is STM kit lens also has the advantage of using an STM motor for more fluid focusing during video recording, although something a little wider like the Canon FS10-18mm to 18 mm f 4.55.6 is STM would be a better choice if you want to get yourself in the frame while providing environmental context, given the 1.6x crop factor of the sensor. Thank you.